Hey guys, I'm Nathan from Arms and Armor. Now, we've done a bunch of experiments with sharp weapons and real armor to try and see what happens when they interact. And today I want to continue that by examining how a sharp dagger uh, interacts with chainmail that I'm wearing. Right, so I'm going to be careful, but I fought at a couple of armor team events recently, and there's some debate about you know, how hard you have to hit someone in areas that are just covered with chain mail to do any kind of damage. Is a small tap sufficient or do you need to really couch uh, that spear? So I am essentially sacrificing my body for science and for your good. So first of all, I'm wearing a reasonably historical gambeson. It's quilted linen. Uh, several layers. Now, it's not the thickest historical gambeson, right? You guys remember our friend, the 24 layers of quilted linen? This is thicker than the gambeson I'm wearing. Now, if I take this 24 layers of linen and I put this sharp rondel against it, I have to actually kind of grind it in to get it through all of the layers. Maybe even smack it on the table. All right, there, after I stabbed it with some force, not an incredible amount of force, the point's coming through uh, a little bit. It would be enough to prick me right, if this were my gambeson. This gambeson I'm wearing is thinner, and if I press, all right, I can feel it. Oh, yep, <laughs> right there. Uh, it is penetrating this gambeson. If I move it around at all, I'm gonna be bleeding. Right, the point is pricking me right now. So we know right away that there's a variety of cloth armors, some of which provide more protection than others against various forms of, uh, of attack. So I'm gonna put on my mail now and we'll see what that does. All right, so this is riveted mail. That's decent quality. All the other videos that we've tested uh, weapons against mail have been scraps from this shirt from when I had it tailored. So it's the same mail that I've done previously. Now, hold on one sec here. Here's one of the scraps. If we look at this, you can see that about three quarters of an inch of dagger goes through that, maybe almost an inch, with just the weight of the mail, nothing else on there. Right? This suggests to me that I'm going to have to be careful right, while I try to see if this works. Now, there are all kinds of armored techniques where you're planting either a spear or your sword point, or your dagger point, into the armpits uh, or the neck, the aventail, of your opponent's armor because they're covered in plate. Right? These are the only places you can really get them. Right? So if I stick this dagger right here and move it Okay. <laughs> yep. This offers essentially no protection from the last mm, at least quarter inch of the dagger, right? If I push this <laughs> ow, much harder than just with one finger, um, this is going to go in to my shoulder. I can feel it. The point is, th ow, <laughs> is through the armor. It's going through the gambeson. If someone struck me like this, there are a couple things going on. First of all, it's gonna hurt me some, right? I can feel it, but in actual combat, you got a lot of adrenaline. Even just in the kind of play combat that we're doing, people often don't notice when they've been hurt. And stabs and cuts are har harder to notice when you're all amped up than you know concussive injuries uh, are. So if someone spikes me with this while we're in combat, right, thrust me, that is going to break my skin for sure. There's no doubt at all uh, about that, unless I was wearing non-compressible cloth armor under this that's, you know, half an inch thick, right? So maybe with 24 layers of linen, it wouldn't get me. But with this current jacket, it definitely does, all right? 
what else does this teach us? Well, there are all of these things that the masters say to do. Like if there's a spear stuck in your shoulder, you clear it with your hands and push it out of the way. Now, an interesting thing here is that the way that, ow, <laughs> the way that this goes through the armor, I really can't push it out of the way without releasing it. Right? If this is through my armor and into my meat, just pushing it sideways is pretty tough. I'm not saying you can't, but I think that in order to get this out, to release it, I would have to move my shoulder back at the same time that I was sweeping it aside. Otherwise, it's really connected uh, to my armor. And my opponent then has a lever that's connected to my body in any direction except backwards. Uh, I think this is pretty valuable for us if we're thinking about rule sets, if we're thinking about what it means to hit someone in mail, right? I'd way rather be wearing this if someone's stabbing me with this because then only, you know, a finger's joint of the blade is likely to go into me, which is way less likely to kill me. On the other hand, if someone plants this thing through my mail and we're struggling, oh, ow, <laughs> and they are twisting this thing around, it is going to be making hamburger of my shoulder, right? Easily, right now, oh, yeah, it's, ow, it's sticking into me, <laughs> right? So that is gonna actually force some compliance on me. So what's this tell us about the weapons? Well, people often say that these kinds of rondel daggers, uh, spear points, things like that, are designed to break chain links. And I don't really think that's the case. I'm sure it happens sometimes if you hit someone hard enough. I think what it does is this much of it goes through the armor and it gives you purchase on your opponent it cuts them up, and if someone stuck this in there and we were struggling, I would be drenched in blood, right? An inch thick stab that someone is grinding is gonna be actually a pretty painful uh, wound. It's not debilitating, right? It's not gonna, maybe if you really leaned into it, you'd scratch the bones in my socket but otherwise, you're subject, subjecting me to pain, you're subjecting me to blood loss, and you have an excellent form of control over my body because the point of this would be sticking into me for sure. So we'll continue to investigate some of these uh, you know, questions uh, about armor here moving forward and try to think about some specific rule sets from various uh, tournaments uh, that are out there and what kind of reality they reflect. Also, this rondel dagger is beautiful and does a good job. You should probably get one. All right, thank you.